Hello, I'm Sarah of Sarah and Matt. You get it. I'm editing this video right now and it's boring. It's like calming. It's all about mindfulness and I've been really into self-care recently, like doing stuff for myself mentally. But, you know, it if you like calming videos, I guess that could be your thing. I'm all ah, ah. so you can keep on watching and like see if you like it, but we're not sure. Follow me on Instagram, Sarah Scott with three T, Sarah with an H. <laughs> Maybe once we get into it, you know, you'll like it. But just we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes. All right. So the first mindfulness activity I'm going to try is journaling. I have this "Becoming" by Michelle Obama, a guided journal for discovering your voice book that I got for Christmas. I think. I think I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna enjoy journaling. I've journaled before. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just going to flip to a random page because I've already done some of the pages. The pages I got, it says list five tiny victories you accomplished this week. And then um, the other part, which is like a more essay type question. It says change happens from the ground up. What is one small thing you can do this week to bring about new change in your life or in the life of someone else? So I'm using obviously a journal with prompts in it, but you can um, just journal in any notebook you want. You can write anything you like. You can find prompts online. You can just write down your thoughts. There's many different ways of journaling. There's bullet journaling. Um, so just do some research and you can find a fun new hobby. I ended up writing just a short paragraph about my career and applying to jobs and stuff because that's something I need to get going on. That was journaling. I liked it. I don't know if the Becoming Michelle Obama book is for me right now in this stage of life, but I'll probably use it in the future. I just do it every once in a while. And I bet it would be really good for me if I did it every day. I just don't. Next mindfulness activity I'm going to be doing is meditation. I used to do meditation a lot when I was younger. I got, I've kind of fallen out of it recently, but I'm just going to be doing um, a headspace, which is guided meditation. Meditation does wonders. <laughs> to be difficult because um, oftentimes when you fall out of the habit of meditating it can become difficult later but I'll tell you guys how it went after the sesh. I'm back in my room. I thought it was great. I just did a quick little five minute little thing. Um, my mind drifted off sometimes of course. I know that the long-term benefits are much more substantial than like the short-term benefits but right now I'm just feeling calm, serene, accomplished because I like did something good for myself you know. Um, and yeah, maybe this is something I'll actually implement into my life. The next thing I'm going to do on this mindfulness journey is take a walk. This is one of my all-time favorite things to do. I'm just walking around this, oh, I just tripped, <laughs> reservoir that's next to my house because I wanted to walk somewhere familiar. Cause it's like every time you walk you notice something different even though you've done it a hundred times wow there's so many people fishing i'm definitely dressed like that bitch who's just going on a walk <laughs> down to the socks <laughs> like like you would see this girl in your neighborhood just going for a stroll for the sake of going for a stroll. <laughs> so it's hot out. It's not too hot because it's partly cloudy, but my legs are chafing. All right, I'm finished with the walk. I'm back like at the park next to my house. I don't really feel so energized, but that might just be like a delayed effect. Had some time to think and I felt like I accomplished something and also, why would anyone run a distance that you would have time to walk? I don't really get it. I don't want to look sweaty. I don't want to put in effort. Running hurts. You can just walk. Doesn't it burn the same amount of calories? <sighs> Bye. All right, so I'm on the way to Matt's house right now. I'm on my big clunky camera in the car. So we always talk about doing this with other people, being like, hey, we're outside your door. We're going to Burger King, get in the car. 
Um, it is 10.49 on a Monday night. Oh, my camera battery's about to die, so that's cute. But I only need to film the calling Matt clip. The, I, this is awful. Hold on. I'm by your house. Get in the car. We're going to Burger King. Put on something cute. We're filming. <laughs> yeah. Like, this real. Yeah. Okay, give me a <laughs> We are at the drive-thru. I'm here now. Um, I'm going to get a, an impossible Whopper. So what I'm gonna explain to Matt now is the video you guys are seeing. Yeah, I have <laughs> no is, idea what's going on. Um, so I have been filming this like self-care series unbeknownst to Matt. Um, this is so, news to me. So I've been doing stuff like, oh, like I'm gonna try meditating. Um, but yeah, this, this one was, I, I really just wanted to go to Burger King. I really just wanted to go to Burger King but um i made it into this video <laughs> so this one is all about spending time spending quality time with your friends that's um and eating what you want hello Hi. okay so matt and i have been quarantining together as we of have. like a week ago a week and a half ago uh, yeah about a week and a half ago <sighs> matt's like the only person that i have like seen that i have like brought into the family house same um so I think that's pretty good. Do, do you like this surprise? Do you feel self care yet? Do you have to eat the food to be self cared for? I mean, it's, I, I <laughs> not to shade anyone in this video, but I find it interesting that we're gonna self care by eating <laughs> burger king. Yes, because you're, it's being allowed to eat whatever you want and not okay. holding yourself to the societal diets that everyone's making you do. Like, well, I'm allowed to eat Burger King, I'm allowed to eat whatever I want at any time I want. Yeah. Is it a surprise where we're going? Or are we just going to your house? We, we can make a surprise, but it's not going to be very surprising. Okay, okay. <laughs> very excited to be surprised. <laughs> no, you're not. So, what, what do you think of the place I brought you to? Oh my gosh, I was shocked. I was good. It's all a lie. <laughs> this is a place we frequent. Yeah, we're just at a parking lot at our community center. And, and we just, I just like, come here a lot. It's our spot. And now Matt comes here a lot because I come here a lot. Yeah. That's why I fell in my lap. I hope you come to mine. Why does it come like that? Oh, like in, in a bag? Yeah. I never really got that. Is that why it's so much cheaper than McDonald's nuggets? Yeah, we don't know why the chicken nuggets come like that. I just ran out of storage and I deleted the kayak app and I'm really upset. But what am I going to do with that? We've now switched over to Matt's phone, so if it looks significantly worse, that's why. <laughs> the exact Matt just, same phone. Matt just used to have a different phone. No, yeah. I did, and I had like the nicer camera. So Matt always <laughs> is like the most boring story ever. <laughs> I, I, I don't even consider this a story. Well, Matt, I think I haven't thought about this ever. <laughs> Matt, we always talk about it. I don't know. Matt always hands me the camera. I mean, what? <laughs> Of our generation. So, Matt, Matt I, used to have a worse phone than me, a worse camera than me. Camera phone. Phone on the camera. Camera on the phone. <laughs> Matt used to have a worse camera on his phone than I did on mine. So, we would take all photos with my phone. So, I would always take out my phone and be like, Matt, pose, click, 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 instead of Matt being like, here's my phone, take it, click, click, click. So, now that we have the same phone, we still do that. So, I have just millions of photos of Matt that could just be on his phone. Yeah, but yeah, that is true. We do have the same phone now. The fries are slapping, not That's soggy, good. like they were delish. And the controversial, I'm a controversial queen. I'm not really huge into potatoes. Burger, it's very beefy, like thick. It smells really good. Yeah, like better delicious. than I thought. I've, I've had it, mm. <laughs> so I do, I can't attest to the fact that My it's dad good. really likes this burger. I don't know, we had it. As a meat eater, I can attest that it is delicious. If you're any, if you're worried about trying something vegan, A, what? <laughs> Girl, you got a grip. But 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 B <laughs> it's not it's not scary. And so here's my theory that Burger King burgers are already so fake. Yeah. That it's so easy to imitate a fake burger. So it just tastes like the Burger King burger. And you're like Burger King burger is not beef. I mean <laughs> they call it beef, but I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm eating chicken nuggets for anyone who doesn't know. 
anyone late to the game. <laughs> um, this is my go-to at any fast food restaurant. This is us jamming to living on a prayer because it came on the radio. I'm back because I never filmed an intro or an outro to this video. So it's just me and my messy bun, us together conquering the world. I hope you liked that video. There were some exciting parts. Like, subscribe, YouTube things, notification if you want to see us.